One to go signal given. I'm going to take the green with four laps to go. Ryan Newman in good position to win his second career Daytona 500 and the first since 2008. And yes, I'm still dealing with a little bit of congestion. Joy Logano in second. Won the 500 in 2015. Looking to do it again in 2020. <laughs> Sorry. Our villain, Denny Hamlin, in third. Hopefully, at least, these guys will prevent him from going to victory lane. The rest of the top ten, Kyle Larson and Ryan Priest with a good run in the top five. Then you got Ryan Blaney, Chris Buescher, Michael McDowell, Kevin Harvick, and a good run from Ross Chastain in tenth with a little bit of damage, as you can see. I love the way Denny Hamlin's thinking. He knows what it takes. Hamlin is the only Toyota left in the field that's up there near the front. Christopher Bell is back in 16th. Chase is in 11th. So it's going to have to take a little bit of work for them to get back out there. But as with other restrictor plate races, you just never know. There are a couple of Chase fans up there. Maybe we'll have a miracle as... The final battle continues to approach. Pace car is on pit road. Four laps to go in the 62nd Daytona 500. We're back green. Not a great start by Denny Hamlin right there. Great push from Kyle Larson to Joey Logano. Not really a good start for Denny Hamlin. That's good news for us as Logano gets pushed back up there. But now Hamlin's giving Newman a push. Trying to go three wide was Christopher Bell and Tyler Reddick, the two, the two rookies that are still in it. Now Denny Hamlin and Ryan Newman have taken off big time. Maybe they'll get too far out front and allow everybody else to catch back up. Chase Elliott is into the sixth spot battling with Joey Logano. As I said before, you never know. Three laps to go from Daytona. Everybody single file now inside the top five. Chase needs to break free if he wants any chance. Hamlin waiting for the appropriate time to try to go to the side of Ryan Newman. Newman has had bad restrict plate luck before, but you never know as Joy Legato gets a little bit loose there, and now Larson goes three wide. Chase gets shuffled to the back, and that will pretty much end his chances. So much for that, and now here comes Hamlin to the outside. You have got to be kidding me. Denny Hamlin to the lead with two laps to go. It cannot end like this. It cannot. Ross Chastain trying to get down there. He got forced down low, and then a crash. Caution comes out. Chase spins. Not much damage on him, but... Joy Logano involved. Ross Chastain. Ty Dillon with damage. Bunch of guys getting taken out in this crash. Heartbreaker for Ryan Priest, who had a good run going. Eric Almarola. Yes, I have sat down. Getting kind of tired of standing. Another look. Chastain gets pushed down low by Priest. As soon as he gets down the Clint apron, Boyer just control. barely squeaks by. Heavy, heavy impact to the 22. If Boyer wins this race, Jeff Gordon has to interview him. 
in a Kansas City Chiefs jersey. The Chiefs won the Super Bowl over his San Francisco 49ers. Big of an impact is what we see some of these other cars because of the damage. But when you get right into the driver's side door, a bunch of guys getting taken out in this crash. That almost looks Jeff like the right rear went down with all those sparks, and the car just just took off. I think the car once he came up on the apron, the car just got a little sideways. He tried to correct, and it caught the banking and shot the nose over. Christopher Bell also involved. Michael McDowell may have gotten a piece of it. Here's a look from Joey Logano's on board. He just got slammed into the wall. An aggressive move by Chastain to try to move to the front. But just could not be able to find any room. An aggressive move by Ross Chastain doesn't pay off. As the field circulates under yellow, teams are allowed to work on the cars. <laughs> Taking out most of the field. And we will head into NASCAR overtime in the Daytona 500 for the third straight year. 